up y'all welcome back to my channel on behalf of Britt. if you're new here welcome i'm Brittany, and today's video is another vlog y'all have been vlogging back to back to back to back after valentine's day is over with i'm making time for what the videos that i want to do like i can assure you that with everything that be going on in this eventful life the vlogs are still enjoyable i just want to do something different i feel like i've been vlogging every single week but anyway i'm about to head out i have a few errands to run Today's video wasn't supposed to um, contain any house calls that was last week, but today I did agree to do one since I'm going to be in that area. I have a few errands to run like on the south side of town. I guess you would consider that the south side, like over by the airport. I have a few things to take care of over there. When my client hit me up and asked me for a house call, I'm like, you know what? I'm actually going to be in that area on Wednesday if that's cool with you. Today's Wednesday, January 31st, by the way. And so she was like, yeah, it'll be quick. She promised it'll be a quick little pop-up. So I'm going to go over there and then I'm going to run a couple of errands. I'll probably take y'all with me to a couple of stores because the south side of town here in Atlanta is the black side of town. So better hair stores, better food, all of that. So um, yeah, we're going to run out but before i leave i need to take care of my birds i'm about to like freshen up her seeds give her some more food fresh water all of that um i'll be gone for like five to six hours but yeah let's get fancy together i'm sure the lighting is pretty poor and excuse this thumbnail y'all it broke last week and i was been supposed to have my sister repaired but haven't made time for myself i need my toes done my nails fixed all type of stuff this is her food bowl it's almost time for her to get some more seeds. I need to, I want to go to the flea market where I purchased her from and get some seeds from her breeder because she really likes that mix and just have to make time to go out there too. But right now this mix comes from Walmart and she likes it. So yeah, she has fresh seeds. Now I'm about to give her some fresh agua. Her cage needs to be clean real soon. I have a cage on my shopping cart. I'm waiting to see if the price goes down. It's really huge. Um, this cage right here for reference is built for five pair of keys. So it could fit up to five of her kind in here. And I have one in here. The next cage, the one that I'm getting her next is big enough for 10 pair of keys. And it's going to be just for her, y'all. Just something for her to have an ample amount of space. And on days like this where I'm gone all day and I refuse to leave the cage open, not really knowing what she's going to get into while I'm gone. She has a huge cage to fly around, plenty of activities. So I want to upgrade her cage real soon. This is her um, water dish right here, which she also uses as a bathtub sometimes. All right, Miss Thing, I'm gone. Do you even care? I'm gone. Okay. I don't think you care. She'd be so unfazed by me, y'all. Well, let's go. Oh, this day starting off so pretty. So nice outside. We love when the weather is beautiful. Off to seize the day. I traveled to a house call today where my client had two sons, a five-year-old and a two-year-old. The five-year-old recently got the sides of his hair shaved off, well, faded out, and they realized when it was time to style it that the parts weren't fine all around his head. It was just like a janky lineup, so they wanted me to go in. The parents did, when I'm saying they, they wanted me to go around the edges of his hair and just fix the part as best as I can, and everything I left out, the dad was going to take the clippers and just shave it off, so I tried my best to go around and just try to fix every little section around his hair to give him a clean lineup. Up, like you see how it is before and then I go in and try to fix it before I left she wanted me to braid his hair so I went in and braided his hair down as well she wanted just six simple cornrows going back she loaded his hair down with moisturizer so it was smooth for a blow dry so that's what you see but the product ends up melting in later this is her two-year-old he had a head full of hair which was emotional for the mom because she ended up deciding to fade his hair out as well to give both boys the identical hairstyles and with him getting his first fade i was able to part out and section it perfectly so his hairline could match his brothers and we didn't have like the issues with the hairline and everything so this is how it turns out again the moisturizer had to settle in i remember a time where it was so hard to find human braiding hair all of this stuff is human y'all brazilian braiding hair pay attention to the top these ain't bundles y'all this is braiding hair owls and owls of stuff to do boho braids with over here I almost want to try a few styles with this. 
I'm not sure if I want to do boho braids and leave pieces out or actually, you know, single braid my hair with only this hair, if that makes any sense. But Pristine is a very prestigious um, virgin hair company, and they now have braiding hair. This is for micro braids, but when you wet this, it gets so pretty. I've had it with bundles before, y'all. Literally owls and owls of virgin braiding hair. This is really exciting to see. So yeah, stay tuned. I may be grabbing some hair out of here, or now I know where I can find it. I'm so used to going into my beauty master on my side of town and just knowing what to get that I go straight for what I need and walk out. My beauty master may even carry um, human braid in here and I just would never know because I never check for it. But now I know it's a thing. Hey baby, I got options now. When all of these styles first started coming out, these options were not available. So, But yeah. I'm taking care of some things on this side of town and it led me into this store. I said, let me check out the Greenbrier Beauty Master location because it's been a couple years since I've been in this one. This was actually the first Beauty Master I ever went into long before my side of town had one. I need to get some different sized um, flexi rods too. So I'm glad I came down this aisle. I um, think I want the orange ones. I have orange, but they're a lot. They're a little too long. I don't even know the inches on them, but maybe 12 inches. So I need some just a little bit shorter. These um, eight inch ones. I had no business coming to the clothes section because I always get so tempted with Beauty Masters clothes. But in this location, especially a black location, I had to come see what they have. These little pleated skirts are so cute. I need to come out here more often. They have a lot of stuff my side doesn't have. Forgot just how different the locations were. This stuff is so cute, but I need to get from over here real quick, fast, and in a hurry. Yeah, real quick, fast. It's one outfit I seen and I wanted to show y'all, but I'm trying to avoid it because I know it'll end up in my basket if I look at it again. <laughs> so I'm not even gonna show y'all that one. Y'all gonna have to miss out on that for the sake of me and my lack of discipline. But yeah, let's go on and grab us some extra shining jam too while we in here. Hey y'all, so we're now in a new day of the vlog. Today is Thursday, February 1st. So happy February, happy Lovers Month, happy Black History Month. Happy February. Um, today is a light day for me. Um, the next few days are gonna be very light, very chill. Typically the first three to four days of the month, I keep my appointments light, I keep my plans light. Fenty, hey! I try to keep my plans very light um, because that's my cycle time. I come on the top of the month every month like clockwork. It never fails. And as you all know, I suffer from really, really bad cycles. So it's not a whole lot I can do. Um, as of right now, my cramps aren't too bad. It's looking like it's going to be one of my better ones. So um, today I just have one take down. I literally only scheduled one person and it is a lock removal appointment. So I'm about to vlog that. And then I thought about like sprucing up my hair and put this little blunt bob in my hair. And all last weekend, immediately after I changed my hair, it started raining. I really haven't been able to enjoy this hairstyle because I've been putting it in buns. I'm um, just wearing it up, wearing hats, stuff like that, just to protect my leave out from it getting wet and stuff. So I want to um, continue to wear it. The hair is still good. But when you see where this dent is, where I've been wearing it in a bun and like just pulling it back, I want to cut the bob a little shorter, like right up in here, right like framed under my face. And then I want to add this hair. There was a vendor that I got a lighter blonde from that was really good hair. And I'm thinking about cutting this down and adding in some blonde highlights because I still just am determined to have some type of blonde hair. So I'm going to cut this bob down add a couple of streaks of this in there, cut it, curl it. I think it's gonna be a really cute, like messy bob, but that'll be probably not today. All I wanna do is do this takedown, eat me some soup, drink some tea, 
I'm sipping on some tea right now. Um, I want to finish my tea, make another batch of this because it's so good. And just cuddle up, snuggle up under the covers with my heating pad and just watch some shows. I'm really excited about that. Like, it's not too many days I get to do that. So, the top of the month is always a drag. I'm always groggy, not in the mood. But um, I'm excited for this time to myself. So, my client, Miss Key, is on the way. I'm going to do her lock removal. And it's going to be super quick because her sides are shaved. She just have uh, faux locks at the top of her head. So, we're going to knock that out. But yesterday, while I was out, remember I took y'all with me to that house call where we had the two little boys. And... Um, the mom got their sides faded out and all this stuff. I had to fix up their lineup and stuff. Everything turned out well with that. And then I was on their side of town. And there's a beauty master over there. And that's in the black area. And so I got these flexi rods. Whenever I add the blonde hair to my hair and I curl my bob or whatever, I'm going to use flexi rods. So I'm not putting heat in my hair every day. I got a bunch of earrings. If y'all remember the last video, I was talking to y'all about how I went to LA and they did a bag check. And I remember taking the bag of accessories out for the, to get my bag check, but I can't remember what I did with it after that. Like I was just all about trying to make my flight. Um, I lost pretty much all of my earrings, majority of my earrings on that trip. So I went on Shein and I ordered a bunch of hoops and I also went in the hair store. Y'all, my ears aren't sensitive at all to fake jewelry. So I've just been racking back up. This is the first pair I got. I had to turn the camera around, but this is the first pair I got. They were $1.99 at the hair store. I had these little twisted ones, um, a variety of silver. So with the silver, I had one pair of the really pretty hoops that I showed y'all first. And I had a three pack of this other style, of those other styles. And then this is a five in one. And they come in all different sizes and textures. So are we trying to get the accessories back up? I have this container for $8.00. And then this was on sale for $8.99. This is typically like a $12 container. So I got this one. We really like her. Got some kids braiding here for an appointment. It's a Valentine's Day appointment. Um, I'll show y'all the inspo and the style and all of that on Saturday. The phone holder was in the way the whole time. That's so ghetto. I'm sorry. I decided just to turn y'all back around. But this is the brand is called lulu tress i want to say this is the kids version so they have a different name on it it's called lulu mini um but they have a variety of like boho hair for a kid style so they have the bohemian 10 inch which is what i use on my client they have deep wave which is like a looser curl pattern they have passion twist hair and then they have the water wave all of this hair is perfect for um like a boho style twist lots for kids whatever um this is really good here we had a pinch left because i had her to get two packs of it and you get two times the hair so there were uh if you see like the little holes in the packaging there was two bundles like this attached on each side but when you remove the hair i think y'all didn't already seen what i was trying to show y'all it says color me and they've added these little color pages where you can um give it to the child to color um, my client, she colored some. I went and dug up some color pencils and she colored one of her packs, well, one of the packs while she was here. And so I kept one. And I think it'd be cute, like if another kid client comes, it can be a cute little activity while I'm braiding the back of their hair. They can be holding their head, head down and just coloring. But I thought this was so neat, so freaking neat. So shout out to Lulu Tracy for coming up with something so cute for kids. This is so nice, so. It's Black History Month. Y'all know how we do every single February. I am shouting out, talking about spending money with, breaking bread with Black-owned companies all month. So being a hair girly, being a braider, being a Black-owned business in the beauty industry. A lot of this stuff will be beauty stuff. But yeah, little women, not really women, <laughs> little tresses was first up so yeah that's all i got out of the hair store yesterday y'all i did look at that virgin like all of those different um brands of virgin hair for braiding hair but right now i had thought about just touching up my bob for a little bit and spent 26 dollars on maybe six items so yeah that's what's going on I'm about to wait on my client miss q to get here finish my tea and 
we'll see each other later. If not later today, y'all, it'll be some time tomorrow. Oh, Hey y'all, so today is Friday and I'm feeling kind of meh, like, I told y'all what's going on, what time of money it is and stuff, so y'all know the drill, but just having some yogurt, this is actually great value yogurt, y'all, and it's good, to me it don't taste no different from Yoplait, like, I showed y'all in the last vlog, I get four containers of this for $2 versus getting one container of Yoplait for almost the same price, one carton of this, so... I get this. It's good. I like the mixed berry. I don't play around with a bunch of their flavors. Whereas to your play, everything you get is pretty much good. But yeah, I'm just having some yogurt and watching TV. Um, I got my heating pad on my stomach. It's a light day with hair. I'm not really doing too much. One of my appointments, we rescheduled, so that worked out. Um, and then I have another person coming for a retwist. I don't know if he's getting a retwist. He just got his hair color. I don't curl the hair. And he wanted his dreads dyed. So he went and had them to dye his hair. I don't know if they dyed it and retwisted. it. And he just coming to me for a braided style. Like to, you know, make sure the, twist, the retwist lasts longer by styling it up. Or if I'm doing retwist and a style. We'll see when he gets here. But that'll be later today. Right now I'm just chilling. I kind of want to cut my hair into that bob I was telling y'all about. And don't mind these glasses either, y'all. Look how I push them up. Like, I'm really doing something. Everybody around me wearing glasses these days. Like, Q and Trug, they both wear glasses. These Trug glasses just sitting here on the couch. Like, real good prescription glasses. And then I just find them cute for fashion. They pop up when I'm looking at other stuff and I see a cute pair. I throw them in my cart. It'd be like a dollar. So, this is a little clear. Around the frame, it got kind of like a rose gold tint. They big, they fit my big long face. So it made me feel like something. I'm really, really, really feeling ugly on the inside. So I tried to put myself together today. But yeah, I want to cut my hair into a bob. I was telling y'all yesterday that I want to add some blonde highlights to this hair and cut it. So I may do that in my free time. It just all depends on how I feel. I'm watching this episode of Sisters, I'm waiting for my crimps to kind of like mm, calm down a little bit because they're showing out real bad put something on my stomach because i really don't have an appetite but i needed to eat something because i keep popping pills like every four hours and then later today chuck want to do a seafood boil that's really why i'm trying to get my stomach together because why y'all making crabs and y'all know i'm not feeling well like why y'all doing that y'all know my appetite be funny why y'all making crabs so they having blue crabs tonight i'm trying to get right for that so um we'll see if i do eat if i don't i'll film them making the crabs film trail making them but not too much on the whole feminine issue stuff i'm gonna move on but yeah let me enjoy this yogurt i just wanted to come and tell y'all try the great value yogurt save y'all a couple dollars it's really really good and um yeah just let y'all see my face because i put myself together today and i feel cute <laughs> I'm gonna link these glasses down below. They're the cutest to me. They look really nerdy, like they give very much lavender from Matilda. <laughs> and I think that's cute. So I'm gonna link them down below if y'all just want some cute everyday frames to throw on. Maybe you ain't put on lashes today. Maybe you wanna camouflage the fact that you need a refill on your lashes or whatever. I don't know. But to me, I just like to throw them on. Enough rambling about absolutely nothing though. We're gonna move on to the next scene. I will see y'all in a little bit. 
Hey you guys, so I mustered up the energy to do my hair. This bloated pouch looks disgusting. Oh my gosh. I had George on for Fenty, but I'm gonna cut this off and play some music. So she's a little annoyed in the background cause she know what's going on. But yeah, I'm just gonna go in, add a couple tracks, probably right under that top track, put a blonde highlight and maybe somewhere towards the middle or you know, a little lower, put in another blonde track. I'm about to do that real quick. And then my client Josh said he on the way. The stylist who colored his hair is about 30 minutes away from here. And I think I can do it in 30 minutes. Just stick the tracks in here and then put the flexi rise in. Oh, cut it and then put the flexi rise in. So I may have to stop before he gets here. But we'll see. Where's all of my music? Like all of my regular stuff. Fenton that took over the TV. That took over the room. I'm going through YouTube trying to at least. Because I play YouTube a lot in here. Like I play music a lot on my TV. And normally like. When you search something often, it pops up, but all you see is cartoons. That don't make no sense. Here, oh, here go the main page. Okay, they go neat. They go my, okay. Okay, okay. See, I was gonna say, like, where's the music? I already separated the tracks, one for the top, one for the bottom. The thing is, y'all, I cut off the camera a second ago to look for glue, and I can't find glue, so I have to sew the tracks in. This is a quick weave, but I gotta sew the tracks in because I can't find any hair glue. Which is crazy to me. Freaking crazy. Um, yeah, I can't find it. I'm trying to find an open spot. I stacked these tracks at the top, child. Ain't no little spots to put that. Where am I going to put the hair? Oh, okay, I found a little spot. Exactly. He says he. Not attack me. Y'all, look what I found. It's not a whole lot, but it's enough to glue two tracks. So I'm glad about that because I was being real lazy about sewing some hair in. Let's see. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that fit perfect. Okay, so, so we're going to glue this on. See what the highlights give me. I'm killing where you stay. Yeah, she like rap. She like music. Yes. Trust the process, y'all. Press play, big, 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 big nigga. Press play is my favorite song right now, y'all. Now, Nikki been showing out. <laughs> I'm not feeling Nikki right now, but I love this song. First, I was gonna put one track up high and one down low. But I want more highlights at the top, so the back just gonna have to suffer because I don't have enough blonde to put all throughout. I want to put some a little bit higher than this one. Fancy <laughs> light, <laughs> Okay, y'all, I got the tracks in. Not a whole lot would have had to been cut if I would have left it this length because this hair is the same length as the um, bob I have in almost. But remember, I told y'all I want to take it up a little higher. Uh -uh. I'm going to show y'all a quick hack. Um, put my hair tie right where I want the cut to be, which is at the bottom of my face. Oh, I'm so scared. Because once this hair is chopped off, that's it. That's it, Fancy. Okay, I'm going to go beneath the scrunchie. Ah! Ah! Oh! Y'all, I messed up. I don't know what happened in the back. Trail! Are you cooking? There, I may need you to help me trim this bob. Make my bob even. I messed up. Yeah, bro. So what I did was I tried to do this little hat where you put it in a ponytail and you cut the ponytail. I heard you. I'm gonna show y'all a little. Why did you mess up your hair like that? So I wanted it a little shorter. I just. Oh, it's bad, y'all. It's always when I try to do stuff on camera, trying to show somebody. Basically, bro. I like it short, though. I like even short hair more. You like it? Mm -hmm. Look grown? Anyway, mm -hmm. I like that. 
we went in the bathroom and Charles took it up some in the back. I think once I curl it and stuff, it'll be better. But I just want to cut this off. Oh, my hair looks so much better before. I mean, I like the color once it's styled and it's blended all together. But baby, the cut. I'm done cutting, like. It looks better than it did when I first cut the ponytail off. But I can assure y'all, y'all won't get any more hairstyling videos until it's time for me to braid my hair because <laughs> I've been taking L's with this whole styling stuff. Um, It's just not my ministry. So we're going to leave it alone. Man, you know, just have like a little messy grown bob, but I gotta play with it some more. I can't believe I just did that, but I didn't went shorter now, so I gotta make it look like something at all times. This is completely bonkers, but <laughs> I just did. Really had a vision and, oh, uh, it's gonna be cute. It's gonna be cute when I pull it together. Should we get to bleach it a little bit more? Yeah, take it up you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, yeah. bro. I wanted it lighter. So I'm just taking L's in here. Are you on the clock? Nah, I just, I haven't been my bit since two. Where you think you can, like, maybe, I don't know, maybe help me out with some of my ends? Yeah, I see a couple of them that I'm going to have to, yeah. Because obviously the coloring made them thin, made the hair thin. Yeah. So some of them look like they need some help, you know? Yeah, I got my little tool. I was almost like, yo, I'm about to start bringing my Cause this your second attempt? This is the second time. It's like I need to go to somebody that really can like really do what I need done. Like I, I don't, I'm not understanding what the problem is. Um, before the party, cause I think it's almost supposed to be called the party or something. She see him. You know what I'm saying? And he feel like she's, we're judging people. Worthiness off of how they look, that's crazy. That's why I hate when people say that. Beautiful. And I be talking about it, Nathan. Can't even hold a conversation. You want to scroll your phone, put in your AirPods. You want to do when those motherfuckers cross your path. Hey, y'all. So my client, Josh, just left. And I'm leaving my hair alone for the night. I'm going to probably flexi ride it before I go to bed. But until then, I done played with it some. And it's giving. I should have left it alone. I like the length. I was trying to go this short. It's just, mm, I need to style it better. <laughs> Why would I do this? I'm getting off this camera before I get sad because I destroyed my hair. Look at this shit. <laughs> Bye y'all. Bye. I'm getting out of here. Damn. Our friends are home. He's foaming at the mouth, huh? What's up? The Crown Royal Slush. Yeah. Yeah, Y'all taste it. Tried made slushies. It tastes good. I like her. Now, give me some. Maybe I would give myself from the taste of it. Honestly, I would give myself maybe a seven point two. Nah, I try to. It's a solid it's eight. It's a good drink. <laughs> hey, y'all, it's me. Back with the bob. I just took my bonnet off, so I'm trying to brush my hair down. I had a quick appointment this morning. I was not expecting her to get cornrows, but she got beaded and braids, and then I got a kid client coming to get the one I went and grabbed that hair for, that little kid's pre-stretched hair for, which I actually, since I have it, should go ahead, I should go ahead and prepare it for her appointment. Just go ahead and separate it and put it on the rack. Counting my money. Here it is right here. The kid's pre-stretched hair. And then hopefully I'll be able to come back on camera and show y'all the end results. She is a four-year-old and it is my first time ever braiding her hair. And we gonna see. Um, she has a head full of hair from what I've seen on social media. I follow her mom on social media. And she doesn't need weave, but her mom was saying like with her texture of hair, she would feel more comfortable if the weave is added so that the braids last longer. So we're going to add some extensions to it, but hopefully it's not too bad. Her mom said she's going to sit through the appointment, hold her hand, do whatever needs to be done. So whatever has to happen, that's the only thing about kids braids. Sometimes they can take the pain, sometimes they can't. Yeah, I'm about to... You want to get out for a little bit? I finished a lot earlier. Again, I wasn't predicting that I had to do feedings today. So I have like a two-hour break. Oh, you couldn't wait to get out. 
Um, I have like a two hour break. Hey, what's going on? You want camera time? You want camera time? I'm about to let her have this room for two hours and I'll be back, y'all. I'll be back because I can't. This I can't do. What? What is it? <laughs> what do you want? Why are you in my face? What's up? <laughs> we'll be back. Like, where's that noise coming from? Y'all can eat real quick while I, um... What do you like your food? Finish. Um, and all I do is box braid it because that's all I know how to do. Yeah, just send it. don't last nothing. So we can see your hair. Ooh. Oh, okay. Well, be careful. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. The song. Okay. <laughs> Look at me. It's the hip. Hey, y'all. So I had a little time to play in my little bob today. So I wanted to come back and show y'all how it looks style I credit and stuff and it's a little too uniform for me I want like a messy bob but I said you know what I'm gonna leave the curls how they are and then as they fall you know start combing them out and letting them do their thing but yeah I oiled my scalp so if you see a little shine or anything up in there my middle part was kind of flaking up so I went through and put some oil in it but yeah this is how it looks just with basic flat iron curls this is the look I was going for just a shorter sexy adult look yeah I spent a little time in here played a little music did my hair I'm about to they still kind of smudgy but y'all know put on a nice little fit with the glasses or make up my face with some lashes and yeah the bob is doing what it needs to do now this is what I wanted you know Nothing too crazy, just a cute little curly bob. So this is the look for the next week or so. I don't know if I'm gonna take it out next weekend. I'm loving it. I don't know how I feel in a couple of days, but yeah, this is how it looks with the cut, y'all. I went in and tried to perfect it as much as I could. The back may not be curled as good as the front. Y'all know how that goes with curling hair. I get lazy when I get to the back of my head. So if y'all see anything that's hanging, not curled as good, oh well. But yeah, I wanted y'all to see the bob. And also, my friend went to work last night. And I wanted to show y'all this cute little Valentine's Day basket that my friend put together. My friend passed out Valentine's Day gifts to all of the girls at work last night. And I got this cute little basket. Came with the balloon. This little um, Forever Rose. It lights up. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it lights up. I got some socks, some cute little Valentine's Day socks, which are going to be cute for next week. My friend Kate is having a Valentine's Day pajama party, and I didn't have any Valentine's Day socks, I don't think. Not no new ones, like, not any new ones. So, this is going to be super cute with my um, V-Day pajama set, which is still on the way. Once it gets here in the next vlog, I will show y'all the outfit. But I have this chocolate scented bear. It smells just like chocolate, um, candy. I have M&Ms in here, Oreos, Snickers, Twix. She made like a homemade shea butter. This is my friend Danielle, by the way. I will link her channel down below. She does all of the DIY things like baskets, gift ideas, festive decoration ideas, like how to decorate your home, centerpieces, things of that nature. Um, she's always, always creating on her channel. So definitely check that out. I will link it. But yeah, she made a cute little, I don't know if this is strawberry cheesecake or red velvet. Oh, it's strawberry shea butter. So it has like, so it has like this little strawberry dust on top, but it smells just like strawberry. She included a little spoon to scoop it out with. And just by touching it, like the moisture is already um, seeping through. I don't know if y'all see that little oil running down the side, but it's already seeping through. It smells delicious, like I could eat it. And she even baked cookies, which I'm actually about to try right now because I heard they were good. Like the people were talking and they said the cookies were good. I believe this is a strawberry cookie with icing on it. Homemade. Mmm. 
just really good. So if you're watching, thank you, Danielle. Thank you so much for my Valentine's Day basket. I love it. Now to conclude today's vlog, y'all, I just wanted y'all to spend a few days in the life. Not a whole lot was happening this week. We'll see what next week brings, but if y'all made it this far in this video, thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see y'all in the next upload. Bye.